stomach flu is really gastroenteritis. It's vomiting and diarrhea. Influenza causes a respiratory illness. It causes pneumonia, fever, cough, totally different diseases. And unfortunately, the flu vaccine prevents these pneumonia type things, but does nothing for the typical stomach flu. It's natural that you're going to have some activation of your immune system after getting a vaccine, and you may get a little bit of fever, a little bit of achiness, but it will not give you the actual influenza disease, the pneumonia, the cough, the respiratory illness that comes along with influenza. The two are unrelated. COVID-19 is a unique entity, much higher mortality rates, much more transmissible than influenza. That's not to say that influenza isn't important and isn't serious. Millions of Americans get sick every year from influenza. Millions of Americans get hospitalized. And unfortunately, between 20 and 50,000 Americans die every year from influenza. So while influenza is not nearly as severe as COVID-19, influenza is nothing to joke around about. The influenza viruses change every year. They're constantly mutating and shifting and drifting, as we say. And so the flu vaccine each year is slightly different. It has different strains in it to protect against the strains that we think are going to circulate that year. So it's extraordinarily important for everybody to get influenza vaccine each and every year so that they're protected from that year's strains that are circulating. Vaccines are held to a completely different safety standard than drugs. They're tested in extraordinary ways, and they've been made as safe as possible by removing anything that is absolutely unnecessary. There are microscopic uh, amounts of certain things in there that people may read about and think may be harmful, but the microscopic amounts really are nothing that the human body cannot handle. While we would optimally get vaccinated as soon as possible so that you're protected if it's an early season, there's never a late time to get vaccinated. And flu, in fact, can sometimes show up in January, February, March, and even April. So it's never too late to get your flu vaccine, but get it as soon as possible. Healthy individuals usually do fine with influenza. However, on occasion, people that are completely healthy do end up in the hospital, and unfortunately, hundreds or even thousands die every year. Even more important, though, healthy individuals are the ones that often introduce it to those who are immune compromised and at highest risk for having bad outcomes from influenza. So one of the things that we really have to think about as healthy individuals is that there is some protection for ourselves, but what we're really doing is helping protect our friends, our neighbors, and our family who are really vulnerable to influenza and the bad outcomes that it can bring.